man. It's the kid Zed back again with another video. If you're new here, man, please consider smashing the subscribe button down at the bottom. Turn in post notifications on so you know when I upload a new video. And if you're not new, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. It's because of you guys I keep on going. So today's video is going to be a thrift haul, man. I got two pairs that came in today, man. I'm pretty excited. I do have seven out the whole bunch that are coming. Let me move this over. So I have seven pairs coming in, but this is two of the pairs. I'm pretty excited about the next pair right there. So I'm going to open these up, man. Um, the last video, you know, as you guys saw, was kind of skunked. Got 20 gazillion knives, and I have to use a butter knife, man. There's usually like a whole thing right here, but not today either, buddy. Ugh. These are, uh, from the pictures, they look pretty clean. I hope they're better than the ones that came in last time, man, because the last time I was let down. Um... They're looking all right. Stepped on thumbtack or something. Oh, the security thing. But here it is, the Air Jordan 11. Let's see if it'll focus in. Harris, I think that's what they're called. This is the low top pair. Pretty, not too shabby shoe, man. I, I did pick it up because it did look like it was in pretty good condition. Looks like it just needed a deep clean. I will throw these in the ice box. That is the left side here. Hey, look, I actually grabbed the right side. Our left side, because I always say, like, yo, man, I, I didn't, I, I always grab the right side. But here is the right side. See, it doesn't look too shabby, right? Just needs a deep clean, throw the insoles in the thing. This right here is an all out clean shoe, man. I feel like it's not for everybody. Like, it, it wouldn't be for me, but this is a perfect lady shoe. Um,. That's pretty cool. It has a, I never seen these before. It has a, a leather uh, sock liner, just covered on the tongue too. I wonder. I bet you, it's all leather on the inside. Like even right here. I wonder if like when you rock these, like your feet sweat because I remember I had the flip threes, um, the black flip threes, and when you wore those, man, your feet just got hot. I remember I wore them down in Vegas one time, and whew, that was not the move. But on the back, in case you guys never seen these before, you have like the little 23. It's not the iron-on kind, it's a basic plastic one. This is a pretty all-out clean shoe, man. Like, I feel like it's going to move pretty fast. This is a 6 wide. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was a 6.5. But it just looks like it needs a good cleanup. Let it focus, let it focus. Just needs a good wipe down. They should be pretty clean after that. Throw the laces in. I can't remember what I paid for my. I'm pretty sure it was a steal though. And this next pair, man. Let me get a shot of key man. It's been RT Gatorade, man. If you guys don't know, man, the lime cucumber. This one's the best one. This one came from California. This pair. Um, this pair right here came from Michigan. And why they put it in there, I don't know. But this pair right here, I'm pretty excited about because I tried out, uh, I, I checked out a suggested when I was looking at shoes one day. And I, I was looking at a suggested, you know, like how it says, you know, suggestion. And I seen a pair of uh, Nikes, so I, I searched up that thing and I found these. And they had a buy it now, and the buy it now was low, low. Like, I don't know how, like, why it was that low. And I, I don't know how it was that low, but I was pretty excited. Oh, look, these guys went all out. They put it in paper. Um, woo! Here it is. I'll show you guys right there. These are a pair of Kobe's. Uh, let me, uh, they have them tied together, so I guess they don't lose them. But these were dirt cheap. I'm probably just going to keep these just to keep them, you know, because as you guys, a lot of you guys should know, Kobe's contract ended with uh, Nike. His wife did not want to re-sign it or uh, do another one. Dang. So here it is. Um, like I said, I scored these for the low. Pretty clean shoe. That's how I knew it was brand new. And on the inside, like, there's no, no signs of wear. This could be a sample pair. I'm not too sure though, because um, I know on like some people say like on sample pairs, on sample pairs it has like a nine 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 or right here. Let's see if I can focus on that. So on there, on some people say on sample pairs you can see like a nine 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 nine. I don't know if 
if you're gonna be able to see that. But right here, it's 9999. I'm pretty sure that's a sample pair. And it's, it's, if it's a sample, it should say like a bunch of nines or a bunch of zeros if it's a sample pair. This right here is a brand new pair. Not too shabby, you know, considering they came out in 2016. This is a clean pair, man. So I'm probably just going to keep these. I, uh, You know, since I'm going to keep these, I guess I could tell you how much I paid. Um, I paid $13 for these and some change after taxing and shipping. But I was just like, man, it's pretty crazy how much, like, they just cop a shoe, like, at the thrift or something, and they post it not knowing what they have. Like, this is an all-around clean shoe. Like, look at that. Isn't that, is that not cool? I'm actually digging this pair right here, man. Like, I wouldn't mind having this. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'd be able to rock this, man, because I don't know what it is about clear bottoms, man. I just don't like it. This was, uh, Kobe always had like a cool, you know, like he always had to add like a cool touch to his, um, shoes, his signature shoes. Like on that, that's the back where he had, he had, uh, surgery on the back of his, what is it, Achilles, I think that's called? I don't know. But it goes, uh, up behind your ankle. Yeah, on the high top pairs, I think it goes all the way up, which is pretty cool. He always tried to include something cool in the, in his shoes. Let's check out the inside. I've never checked these out before. And he always has some weird insoles, man, like some... So look, this is the insole right here. Right there you have his Kobe logo. Pretty cool insole. I bet you these are pretty comfortable to ball in. Um, I, I do have a few pairs. But let me know in the bottom, like, which, which pair was better? Was it this pair or the 11? I, I, I'm going to say this pair, man, because this pair is pretty clean. Mmm... I'm going to pause the video real quick and grab the a few of the other thrift finds I got uh, because these were online stuff. So I want to show you what I picked up because I picked up some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to pause and then I'll come right back, alright? So don't go nowhere. Just lacing these up. Alright. Oh, dang. Alright, man. So here's a pickup I got the other day. I caught this at Goodwill down in Sunnyside. It is a Kobe 9 EM, I think I want to say pretty clean show I did the clean up I'm gonna post these up I'll probably post them up dirt cheap um, just a little above what I paid for them for the cleanup job because this thing was dirty um, that was the first pickup no yeah that was the last pickup I was honestly I didn't think I was gonna cop anything and then we stopped at a Goodwill on the way back closer to town and I found these or I found those last I found these first though some at the first Goodwill this is a pair of uh, Pumas and the reason why I cop these is because it's like a Sonic collab you do see his noggin right there. Then you got the rings in the back. Then the Sonic. Then right there is like the score for the game. Pretty cool. Then on the inside you got Sonic the Hedgehog. These were too cool to pass up, man. Uh, when the movie came out, I was actually a big fan of the movie, man. Uh, I watched it like a few times. And it's funny, man. It te I tear up every time, you know, when Sonic has to leave his uh, only friend. The owl who gives him the rings, you know. In his run and you just hear get struck with the arrow. That part was pretty sad. I was like, I'm not leaving you. But yeah, um, I did pick up a few, a few, um, I picked this up at Dollar Tree. Blu-rays, if you guys don't know, Blu-rays and DVDs and stuff are going, you know, they're going to stop selling them. And like, you know, you can't just go to the store and find them no more. Because everything's, you know, streaming now. You got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, stuff like that. So everybody's kind of getting rid of their Blu-rays. I scored this one at the Dollar Tree, uh, Goodwill. It's crazy, man. I feel like every time I talk about a movie that I haven't seen in a while, I always find it at Goodwill. Like, I found this uh, where I caught those Kobe's at, and I scored this one. This one right here is a good one, man. I like watching this one. If you guys don't know The Martian, man, you know, uh, Matt Damon gets caught up in uh, Mars. They think he's a goner, and they kind of just forget about him, and somewhere along the line, they start seeing stuff slowly move around the base, and then they realize he's up there. But, yeah, if you guys ever get time to check that out and you're looking for a good movie, check that out. Um, but yeah, that is today's vid, man. Like I said, I have five other pairs coming in. This was just the two pairs that I was really excited. I was really exci excited about these, man, because that's a clean shoe. That's the only reason why I knew it was dead stock, man, because the bottoms. That is a clean shoe. I dig this shoe, so this will probably be in my background somewhere. Um, so which pair is your favorite? Is it the 11? The 11 Harris Lowe's, I believe they're called. Or is it the Kobe's, man? Me, personally, this is a pretty clean shoe, but it's not a keeper for me. I'm going to get rid of it, just like any other shoe. But 
for me, it's a Kobe, man. But yeah, man, that is today's vid, man. Like I said, if you're new here, please consider smashing the like and subscribe button down at the bottom. Turn on post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. And if you're not new, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. It's because you guys, I keep on going. So this video, I was trying to stay in the viewfinder the whole time, man. But yeah, man, let's get that thumbnail. Go like that. Go like that. Go like that. Right there. There it is. Oh yeah, man. Later.